Wonderful as always. Yeah. Welcome everyone <laughs> to Amori. Today Hello. we might actually Today we might actually finish the prologue. If Ash's audio sounds a bit <laughs> fucky, it's because they just went to college and therefore their audio setup is incomplete. I'm, Although once someone gets I'm here <laughs> doing my best. Once someone gets here, I'd be willing to add some kind of, like, filter to the audio, but, uh, I don't feel like dealing with that right now, because that would require doing sound checks. Hey, Jasper. Oh, hey, Jasper. Uh, real quick, can you hear, like, the static- the slight staticiness of Ash's voice, or no? Ah. Oog. All right, give me a second, I can add a- yeah, but like professionalism, I can quickly add an audio filter here. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, unfortunately, my college dorm is not professionally soundproofed. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple of things. Do we want a compressor, an expander, a limiter, a noise gate, or a suppression? I'm going to try the noise gate, see what that does. Doesn't that just like cap? of, uh, like, certain sounds. Yeah, I think so. That would be for, like, if your mic was peaking super hard. Yeah. I'm still gonna add one, because I can. How about the noise suppression? Does that sound any better, Jasper? Ash, I believe you do need to talk a little bit for this to be super obvious. Oog, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking so much. You, ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, we'll wait for Jasper to get back to us on that. Yeah, there we go. That's what I, th yeah, that's what I figured would happen. It's not super hard to fix. I just, it's just hard to check. Epic, you have killed the sound of the heater question mark going off. Yeah. I think I have that same filter on my voice, honestly. I know I have something to keep my thing from being all fucky. Alright, well, anyway. Yeah, because your headphone mic loves static. Yeah, I changed over, but I guess we still have a filter, so it's whatever. It sounds fine. Alright, so anyway. <laughs> last time we went to the moon. And my internet cut out, so the stream died early. You'll be pleased to know I don't even know what that side quest was, so I guess we'll just keep going as we mean to begin. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, well anyway, I I figured out what was wrong. Alright, enjoy All your right. spider. <laughs> Best of luck to you. I'm Small, the world's <laughs> smallest centaur. Look at all of my awards! <laughs> Littlest Centaur, first place. Most Horse, second place. <laughs> I should have realized something was weird when you weren't laughing last time, babe. Tiniest Centaur, first place. Miniest Centaur, first place. A bookcase. It's a little dusty. Ah. 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 Oh, no. Achoo! <laughs> I, I oh, don't no. know. I don't know how to fake a sneeze, but it's a dust bunny. Do you think this counts for leafy stuff? It, it might. Well, it was made of glass. And was somehow worth more experience than a normal bunny, I think. Of course, it's, it's a rare creature. Smallest centaur, littlest centaur, littlest centaur. Idiest, bittiest centaur, first place. <laughs> you know, I think, I think the guy had a niche. He was taking advantage of it. You know what? He knows what he's about, and he's capitalizing on it, and no one can blame him for that. Wait, isn't this like the doll head thing? From the, uh, the waiting room? Neighbor's room? Oh... Maybe, yeah... Hi, I'm Pessy, and as you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart! 
I got every piece of merchandise she's ever released. I got sweetheart posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire discography, and anything else you can think of. I'm certain you won't find a more yes. thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a sewer fan is an understatement. I am the ultimate fan. <laughs> Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. We ordered the same meal, too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for a meal, but I just bought a newly released Sweetheart life-size statue the day earlier and couldn't afford to. Which, I guess it ended up being a good thing, since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like Sweethearts anyway. Not like I couldn't tell in the first place. Only a poser fan would ever mistake a regular person for Sweetheart. Unhinged. <laughs> nah, she's, she's normal. She seems normal. A book. Doing so cool and normal Sweetheart fan club. A bookcase full of books is not an obnoxious looking person. <laughs> I'm already just fucking annihilated Sweetheart here. A sweetheart found dead in Miami. <laughs> a very obnoxious sounding song is playing from this boombox. A surprisingly normal bed. A statue made in the likeness of an obnoxious looking person. A bookcase, yeah, yeah. A, a table full of merch. <laughs> Amori fucking hates. Let her live. <laughs> Amori has some opinions about whatever the fuck a sweetheart is. This place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to a recent boom in tourism, it's starting to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people. It's not that hard. Cool. Wasn't there... Weird, wasn't... Oh, no. Pluto's here. Right. Oh. I mean, I guess we could try and get into a fist fight with him. You got... Can. Awesome. That recycling machine just gave me a cool prize recycling some cans. Recycling does pay off. Sure. A recycling, <laughs> recycling machine. Recycling <laughs> Babe, I can't go into the machine. I operate it. <laughs> now, welcome back, Jasper. You just missed someone important. The, the, the most important character in the entire game. Leafy's <laughs> cousin. The recycling machine dispensed five clams. Thanks for doing your part and keeping the environment clean. Man, five whole clams for that? Wild. A band of space pirates has been camping out here for a long time now. I hear that the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half the crew took a ship and left. All right. Huh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 what are you? What are you, what are you, what are you? Trouble. Ah, the view here New is spectacular. Friend. Thanks, Trouble. Oh, Squawk. Things have been so boring around here ever since Captain Space, I mean Space Boyfriend took charge of the Space Pirates. <laughs> I mean, okay. Look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old Captain Ship. Captain Pinkbeard would never approve of this. Yeah, yeah. sweet. Yeah, sweetheart, right down there. Homie <laughs> game. Halt, children! You are now entering the vicinity of. The captain of the space pirates, the master of the solar system, the prince of the universe, the one and only Captain Space, but I mean, er, you're entering the house of space boyfriend. Whoa, the captain of the space pirates lives here. I'm gonna stick with. Get off. 
<laughs> that would kill. You forgot we were doing my terrible Kronk impression. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to be a space pirate too. <laughs> His voice does not match this child's face at all. And it's wonderful. Yeah, well, so did I. Once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got fed up and left with the main ship. It's just us stragglers here doing all of space boyfriend's chores and whatever. Yesterday, me and the guys spent the day cleaning and throwing away all the trash. <sighs> I didn't leave my old job for this. I ain't no babysitter. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Oh boy, that delay's definitely gotten worse. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, how about this? I'm going to tell you when I actually hit the button to add more dialogue, and you're going to tell me how long- and you're just gonna count out seconds until it actually happens for you. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Okay, three, two, one, start counting. Okay. One, two... Wait, like... You hit it and it was only like a second before the, the rest of that text box flooded in. Okay, sorry, there was a bit of a big delay on Aubrey's stuff. Maybe the- maybe it's different coming from you to okay. me, which would be fucky. If I were you, Captain, <laughs> Captain Space, but I mean, Space Boyfriend's got two sides to him, you see. We should at least try. You never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector. Yeah, sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him <laughs> yeah. already. I'm not sure what Gotta this voice is. It's definitely not sure. Kronk. <laughs> Sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. <sighs> Thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. All right, time to see Space Boyfriend. Buddy, it sucks that you had to come at a time like this. Captain Space, but I mean Space Boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. I see. Things are a little tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. Space Boyfriend, what can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? <laughs> cool. Oh, best of luck, Jasper. That's cute. Yeah. A vanity. A bookcase full of knowledge from all across the universe. A boombox. There's no cassette tape inside. A telescope. Knowledge. <laughs> I don't call them books anymore, knowledge I call them knowledge here in my units. Garage. <laughs> you must have enough fuel units. <laughs> must construct additional pylons. <laughs> uh oh. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! 
kill. <laughs> Cow. What? God, this is... This is some dialogue right here. This My man is falling apart. Precious sweetheart. Oh, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. Ah. Oh, my sweetheart, <laughs> where have you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Space boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy, this will cheer you right up. Huh? Why isn't anything playing? He's looking for the Sweetheart mixtape. Oh no. The boombox. It's empty! He's never gonna wake up now. Oh no. Or even worse. He's gonna wake up... angry. Oh man, oh man, where could that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away his special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. <laughs> Honestly, mood. <laughs> the only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. Cancelled. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Is the next plotline gonna be dumpster diving for his cassette tape? Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. Uh, if Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh. Man. That sucks. Well, let's go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We should go out. You should know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. Face boyfriend is dying. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. My perfect goddess. Gah! My sweet jelly filled donuts. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Don't don't call your girlfriend that. <laughs> I think you're getting worse. Babe, you don't want to be my jelly filled donuts? I will hunt you for sport. <laughs> of course what you should. Do more you should him. <laughs> Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. <laughs> you got the junkyard key. Oh, this... we are just dumpster diving. <laughs> this key unlocks the junkyard. That special mixtape should be somewhere in there. You can get there through the secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Why not? <laughs> Might as well help this man. I don't know how this is gonna help us find our funny little friend, but you know. The <laughs> earth looks peaceful. Would you like to deserve it? Not without saving first, no. Oh my god, do you think the earth is a secret boss? I mean, I don't want to disturb the earth. What if the Earth kicks our ass? You know what? Fair enough. Can you believe we're 
Can you believe we're four hours into this game and still in the prologue? We're making the most out of our time here. Yeah. We're gonna disturb this guy first. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Has. Happy, angry, sad. So. Oh my god, he's in three parts. Oh, Ignodia. The forbidden one. This is definitely a boss fight. Oh, for sure. These are all, like, secret bosses. Yeah, we're definitely supposed to be doing this right now. You're, you're perfectly on the level for this one. I mean, his arms don't have that much health. It's just that we're very flimsy right now. He said he hit you. He hit you so hard. He's hitting you. He's hitting you and punching you. <laughs> hitting you and punching you and killing you. The good thing is, if we make a- if we make his limbs sad, he can't actually hurt us that- Holy shit, that was a dull attack! You- you fool, you utter- <laughs> To be fair, we are lowering our defense doing this. No. Thankfully, the arms are slow. If we can just take out one of the arms super quick, that'll be good. Oh, furious. Ooh. See? It's all good. That wiped out one of the arms right quick. It's the fact that he hits me so hard. Let's see, that's 30 hearts. Toss that to Kel. You're going to attack. I'm hoping once we disarm him, he'll be... He won't be a problem. You would hope that, wouldn't you? Oof, ouch. Oof, ow, ouchie, Amori's bones. Oh no. Happy, angry, sad, so... Yeah, we don't have a way to inflict sad using anything right now. Although we could get rid of it happy, and that would... Yeah, it was a dull attack, and I probably didn't need to do that because the speed was low anyway. But, now this sucker can't fight back. Maybe this is when he busts out of super moves, you don't know. I've got my doubts. Ooh. 
But yeah, Amori is going to rip this thing in half. He's so angry. <laughs> He's so mad. Not to mention, all this guy can really do is, well, that. Alright, this is probably a bad idea. Decisions, decisions. It lowers its defense. And it's not like this thing's attacked yet, so... Oh no. <laughs> Oh, what a splendid shovel force. Oh no. <laughs> Pluto ain't small. <laughs> it's growing. Really close to dying, but Jesus. It, like we might, like if we went all in on attack, we might take him right now. Provided that speed boost doesn't put it in front of anyone. Nah, speed fell. Oh, okay. And regardless, we are going to toss. Ah, uh, we don't have anything that's, like, full heal, and if the more goes down, it's bad, but we got plenty of healing items. Here she comes. <laughs> hey, congrats. Alright, that was a close one. It's a good thing yeah. the actual body itself was a wimp. 525 experience, 245 clams. Everyone hits level 6, and Aubrey can now counter people. Congratulations. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Thanks, Pluto. And he was own planet. He returned to his home planet, and now we're going to eat space tube food, because holy shit, that was a close one. Yes, it was. But hey, at least we did it. We didn't get ripped apart you know like Kaike. Yeah, we did it at level 5. I mean, you know we were definitely under level for that, because it put us halfway through level 6. And we yeah, were like maybe, half maybe a bit humble. Yeah, we were uh Alright, let's see. Aubrey, what is this new skill of yours? All foes target Aubrey for one turn, and if she's targeted, she hits back. Aubrey's just a regular old tank. Yeah. <laughs> Aubrey gets to rip the enemy to pieces, and no one can say anything about it. Otherworld Lake, Otherworld Campsite, and the Junkyard. Oh goodness, am I in your way? I'm so sorry, I'll move over. Yeah, the only way you can get to the Junkyard is through that man's secret passage. <laughs> That's fair. Is that a wormhole? Yes! <laughs> that rolls. <laughs> And we got a UFO! Yes! God, these enemy designs are really good. This game's real cute. It's gonna be cute until it isn't, of course. Of course. I'm, I'm waiting for the, the penny to drop again and for us to go back to the hell world. Oh god, it's a space buddy too? Oh my god, there's so many. I don't think they're very tough as a thing. Yeah, 
I'd imagine not. Otherwise, fighting these would be terrible. Wait, what the fuck is Aubrey's attack if she did 50 damage? Like, I guess the orange was really flimsy, but still. She said she hit it right in the heart. Ah, uh, so. yeah. The crit would have helped. Amori's still just like. She's the tank. <laughs> you got a star for so Oh. Oh. Welcome to the cone zone, babe. Awesome, you're playing you baby. You did it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> A peculiar face is indented into the wall. You're not sure what it means. Awesome. Well, now I've got to get rid of every cone. We're definitely going to finish the prologue today. <laughs> We're going to finish this game. Like, by New Year's. <laughs> We're gonna finish this game on 12 time. God. This game is going to take both 12 worth of time. I'd, I'd believe it. Considering how long we spent. This is what happens when we play games I've never played before. Yeah, if there's no one here to push push us along, we're just gonna wander. I mean, obviously, we gotta get rid of all the cones. <laughs> I hope you get an achievement for this. Hey, what's the big idea? I went through all this trouble to isolate myself in society, and then you show up and ruin everything. You better fix this right now. Oh my god, wait. No, don't tell me. <laughs> awesome. You know what? It was a free warp because we had to come back this way any. <laughs> That's like actually great. That's incredible. Oh, hell yeah. Blanket? Oh, awesome. It's time to slay Absolute Sleepy right now. Plus one Get defense, plus blanket. ten heart. I mean, we're gonna... We have to give this to Amori. It gives him 69 HP. Oh, nice. Congratulations, Amori. Not, not to mention, if Amori... Like, Amori does have that one-shot protection going on that lets him survive at least one attack per fight, but still. We're gonna explore. We're adventurers. We're on an adventure. Congrats, kiddos. They're having fun. You wanna fight whatever this thing is? Yeah, it looks like... It's a Venus flytrap. Of course, of course. Honestly, having a Mori just attack twice is, like, ridiculous for how this game functions. It's pretty good to have your big boy attack or go twice Jesus. Chomp. Oof. Well, if we get a crit, that's probably fine. Although I'm that crit itself sure is... everyone should be fine. I mean, hey, if it doesn't hit Aubrey, Aubrey lives. Aubrey is made out of glass and needs some kind of defense boost. Yeah, you know, that might be a good idea. Considering she has a tanking skill, it would be useful if she was, you know, a tank. Now she's got the bracelet. <laughs> oh, you know what? That'll protect her from middle. It's fine. She just has less natural defense than Amori does. Ooh. She has less defense than Kel or... I don't believe he... Less defense than Kel or Hero. Ah. She's a tank. She's not very good at it. Yeah, she's a tank, but she's... 
She's the tank if tanks fucking suck. <laughs> a message in a bottle. Do you want to read it? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a mori. Mori. You can plead the message and threw the bottle back into the lake. Awesome. This will pay dividends in the sequel. Lomi. Lom lom. Lomi lom. Is lomi. Cool, thanks. All right, let's get the walk. Let us get this W. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. We gotta get the watermelon, babe. I don't know what's so weird about that. I hate you so much. God, these things must have, like, what? These things either have wild damage range, or they're just guaranteed to have a really strong attack first off. Which would make sense for a Venus flytrap. That might be it, because, like, it always starts with a really heavy hit. Kind of, oh, no, never mind. No, yeah, Maybe the second attack's always weaker, because that one was a crit. More good level seven. Learn mock. All right then. Does Amori just get like all the emotion statuses? Also, that was definitely worth doing. That would be fun. Ah. Deals damage, and if the foe is angry, greatly reduces its attack. Jesus. Happy angry. Just mm. Enemies. You could, yeah. The problem is, angry is only weak to happy and strong to sad, which means we could. I mean, honestly, we could. It depends. I think the way to do it is we will either use stab or mock, depending. I don't know. That's definitely an interesting choice, because I don't want to get rid of guard, because... You know, it seems kind of important to keep Amori up no matter what. Yeah, you know, maybe keeping that lad alive. Then again, Amori does get one-shot protection. Um. This is a good idea that will have zero repercussions. That's his Aubrey. Oh right, no, it needs to be Aubrey to tell if we want to make Aubrey angry. Right, right, right. If you go from Kel to Mori, that makes Amori sad, which could be a good setup for all the sad base moves, but meh. It's definitely so much room for strategy with the path system. Yep. I'm interested in the fact that Aubrey seems to have higher base damage than Mori does. I mean, his are just a damage gal, I think. Yeah, she's definitely been hitting harder than Mr. Knife. Alright, so what's down here? So much... Stuff. Stuff and thing. Stuff and things and... Oh, hey, everyone hit level 7 at some point. That's nice. Congratulations. Thankfully, we have a ton of candy this time around. Because everybody made of glass. Just waiting for the next big catch. Do you want to go fishing with your friends? Yes. Why are they all over there? Because we only have the one fishing hole. They could be 
There's a moral support. Ooh. You hooked up an octopus and then threw it back into the lake. Well, awesome. that was it. That's cute. We need to slay more bunnies. <laughs> oh, but it's so cute. And that's why it must die. Ooh. It just created the world's tiniest snowstorm. It is an AOE caster. Oh no! Oh right. Not my brightest move, because now we actually have to sad that thing. Or we could just bread slice it and see what happens. I do love that Kel's path. Oh, what, what's that secret for? Hmm? Oh, it's because we used bread slice and got bread out of it. Gotcha. God, that did 75 damage, but that's because it was a crit on top. It might have a higher base damage, but that was definitely a crit on top of the elemental advantage. Yeah, that, that probably oh. helped. <laughs> we gotta use bread slice more, babe. Oh, only use bread slice. Just walk into a bread slice only run. Oh, this one's angie. Oh no, it's so upset. Alright, time for the has been system to come into play. The world's idiotiest bitty snowstorm. You're gonna get frostbite from this bitty snowstorm. There we go. Amori is now happy. Yeah, even in this happy trade, she doesn't even look that like pleasant. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm aware we have the elemental advantage, but I think Bread Slice just does more damage on top. It's a good skill. It's a good skill. It's high damage and it gives bread. Um. Bye. Well. Anyways. Moving on. That's our third life jam. Ooh. Cold soup. But why? A cold lantern. A cold bed on the floor. A refrigerator. But why? <laughs> Violet. A plastic fish mounted on the wall. Hmm. It needs batteries. A cooler full of ice. But why? A hole in the ice. For convenient fishing. Some fishing rods. They look like they're used often. Well, I'm sure this means nothing. Anyway, let's go see... Let's go see if we can find Mari. See, she's right here. We're good. Ah, uh, yeah, some delightful shaved ice. Cool, we can now farm for bread forever. <laughs> I wish we could take these hats with us, but unfortunately not. Hey, Amori! Oh, if like cosmetic cosmetics. Isn't this place pretty? The snow comes down so slowly, but all the pieces seem to fall right into place in the end. It reminds me to be patient. Hey, I know. We should go ice skating one day. Doesn't that sound fun, Amori? Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Really, Mari? Shaved ice in this weather? 
And what's wrong with that, Hero? It's so convenient. Shaved ice is way easier to come by than snow cones. Cones anyway. Well, realistically, there's not much of a difference, but we should restart the Discord call anyway. Oh no. Sorry, your audio was being kind of fuzzy there, so that's the wrong window. <laughs> I think Discord just hates Amori. God damn it, I keep clicking on that picture Thomas sent. <laughs> Snow cones just have larger pieces of ice and shaved ice. Larger pieces of ice, huh? Is that why snow cones are so much more expensive? I... I don't know, Kel. I can't really answer that one. <laughs> oh, and if you're being commanded to drink water. Fine. Y'all can hear that good water audio. <laughs> that hot water ASMR. Ah. Alright, let's see. Snow cone. A snow cone machine. It looks like it accepts snow cone tickets. I'm Jash, a mini talent and master of many trades. How can I help you today? Could you offer us a snow cone in this giant Jesus Christ? Oh, now I gotta leave. I well, the snow cones definitely work. I'm sorry, we're out of syrup. I'm also going to reset the call a second time. What the? Thank you, whatever this is. I don't... What are you? How do I get rid of you? Ah. Sorry, some kind Hello? of weird... Some kind of weird news feed popped in soon as popped on my screen for some reason. I was trying to get rid of it. <laughs> Congratulations, you know the news. Ah. Frozen Lake. Well, I'm sure there's nothing else here of interest, so let's get going. Nothing here will ever be relevant. Ever. But yeah, that's why we have the snow cone ticket thing. Cause, Cause Josh over there is just really price gouging ya. Oh, that's interesting. I guess fly traps just don't respawn. You're afraid of drowning. Right, right. We have I to. Mean, I guess that. Oh we, yeah. We have to not be scared of drowning first. Would I don't you like? Know. I feel like drowning is a reasonable fear. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Yes. Yes! Please! I've never wanted anything more! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How do I... There we go. Cool, what is this? Awesome. Don't worry about it. What's the password? No password. No entry. Well, there's only one thing to do. It looks like we're gonna have to moonwalk our way out of this gang. <laughs> what a dumb thing. I love it. Wonderful. Ah, uh, sure, we got the clams. This is half of our reward for fighting the moon. Good. Oh no, one of the bunnies is sad. Oh no, poor little thing. We're about to make it stay so much worse. 
All right, well, according to the has-been system, the best thing I could be, the best thing I can do is take out the happy bunny and then get angry enough to annihilate the sad bunny. All right, let's see. So Amori naturally does 32 zero modifiers. We are going to call Amori just to ensure something goes right. So Aubrey's attack does... Okay, so they are once again about even. I guess it was just damage range nonsense. Probably. Like, there's probably some hidden dice rolls going on to make combat a little spicy. Yeah. It was a moving attack. Oh, right, the space bunnies have lasers. <laughs> they have guns. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. This is Aubrey. It should be Cal. What on earth is happening on your end? Oh, uh, the gamer moments. Cool. This is why I'm in the common room. Woo so was that your roommate or the other ones? That was mine. Ah, I see. Fries! <laughs> this is a apartment full of gamers. God, I want some fries now. Oof. Oof, ow, ouchie, I don't have any fries. <laughs> On the floor, shaking, crying. Because there's no fries. <laughs> I have salty fry deficiency, which is apparently a thing these meds can do. Oh no. Ooh. Oh fuck, you're in the maze. A lonely crow picks up the dirt. He doesn't seem to notice you. Ah, well I can't get around it. I'm not sure why I'd want <laughs> to, but I can't. Oh, I see. That thing's just flying. Ooh. Ah, it's this cave system. I was wondering Mine. about this. You got cart... What on earth is cardboard? Oh no, I can, just, I can punch it into the recycle machine for a very lengthy animation for 15 clams. Good, you need it. We sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures. Most awesome. horse, first place. <laughs> The Sentinel lost to that! Cardboard, life jam. Nice stuff, really. Just a useful zone. Ah, it's just full of stuff that I can steal. Babe, you missed the other ladder. There you go. I'm aware. I just thought that was the ladder to get out of the whole area. I'm backseat gaming you. A very big TV. A very big sofa chair. My friends used to live in these tunnels, but they all left to look for their missing leader. Do you think they'll ever come back here? Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Oh. I'm gonna wager no, given this game. I love how we're very blatantly ignoring- I don't think anything nice the... is gonna happen to anyone ever. I love how we're very blatantly ignoring the one side quest we have. Greetings, don't need traveler. It. Welcome to my home. It is humble and small, but it is mine. This guy makes fucking sick dunks when you're not looking. <laughs> Stupid children, I'm fucking ballin'. <laughs> the sprout mold super oh, glued no. to the wall. <laughs> Get him out of there! You got dead batteries. Well... Ooh. We needed batteries for something, but not those kinds of batteries. Can. Many sprout moles you soon have at this place. But a lot of them moved away to merge with a bigger colony somewhere in a big forest. It was a risky move, so some of us stayed behind. My brother left with the rest of the sprout moles. Do you think he still remembers me? Probably not. I uh, no. We did take out Papa Sprout Mole <laughs> at some point. 
Yeah, we did annihilate the sprout mole population. Well, anyway, that was that. That was our time in the mines. Holy shit, it's a shark. Cool. Out of curiosity, uh, cast off cartridge, wet pillow, large frame, trap door, lost pirate's flame, dark cell, pink cage, fame framed faces, big stage, frog. Are there O's in a water club? I guess one of these is just in the toilet. Small moving room, live shell, large bubbly, goo, steel trap, guts, the end of a map, a field of white <laughs> snow, and past the end of the road. Oh, it's a UFO. Mm-hmm. Those things are... Honestly, now that I think about it, those things would be... <laughs> the UFOs themselves are perfect for bread slice because they are made of paper. They're just funny little lads made for death. I'm glad Amori just Omaiwa moves stuff when he's in level 3. He's powerful like that. Yeah. Well, let's ignore the shark. Or the catfish looking thing. <laughs> or not. Plane. Here he comes. It's just a random car here. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just go to the forest and you park your car randomly. Wow, miss, you sure are tall. Thank you, little one. It's more of a hassle most of the time, but I do get a better view of the stars. What? Being tall isn't a hassle. Everything is better when you're tall. One day I'm going to be as tall as you. <laughs> yeah, sure, Cal. Keep dreaming. Our short king will... Our short king will live someday. Holy shit, that's a lot of these things. Christ. That's why they're weak. That's why they're weak, so we can do this to them. Let's get the happy one, I think. Er... Eh. Path of the hero. God, these things are... Jesus. Oh, they sure fucking are. Bye. They're not even good experience for all of that. They're just there to, for, for you to kill them. Yeah, we got 18 clams for taking out six of them. They're really something. Starfruit They're soda. They're wonderful. Yeah. S'mores? Ooh. Ooh, s'mores. Ah, stranger. Thank you for having the time to talk with me. I apologize, but I'm afraid I must burn you with a task I cannot complete with my own capabilities. Quite recently and suddenly, a rogue planet burst across the sky at an alarmingly fast pace. My three dearest friends panicked and flew off in separate directions. My three friends are crows, you see, and are not the most friendly nor welcoming creatures. I'm a bit wary to ask such an immense favor from a complete stranger, but there aren't many who pass through these fields. If I may ask... Yes, we are going to find them for you. Oh, thank you, stranger. Words cannot begin to express what this means to me. Now I shall await their return patiently. Or, as you can see, without them, I am just a stick in the mud. You sure are, buddy. Let's go get that first crow we met a while back. While we continue to get harassed by UFOs. Let's get that thread. Thread. I love how just, like, plain bread is somehow a better healing item than most of what we've seen so far. Look, sometimes you just need to eat some bread and you'll be healed in life.
All right, let's see if more can do this, because this is a high range. All right, we are no longer allowed to slice bread. <laughs> Our bread skills have been removed. <laughs> Our bread license was revoked, babe. I don't think we're giving it back for a while. That was the wrong one. <laughs> God, yeah. We have six of these now. We have so much Jesus. bread. <laughs> Sixty hearts are all yeah, friends. Fine. I mean, we bought a bunch of these apple juices. Why not? Just give this kid some happy juice. He'll be fine. It's a shark brain. Awesome. Yeah, 22 damage. Okay, they're not that dangerous. I'm definitely going overboard here. I'm still they're gonna. It's big. It's just big and scary. <laughs> poor creature. We're sending it to the Shadow Realm. Like to slap its bald head, reblog to slap its bald head. Oh no. God, how much health does this thing have left? Probably pretty tanky. It is a plane. The important thing is, if we drain the its juice, it will simply perish. God, this poor creature. I'm gonna make bread out of its ass. <laughs> oh my waboo, motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, well that's decent experience. Rip to hero, it was worth it. Rip to hero, he will now level slower than everyone else again. <laughs> he was trying so hard. He's trying so hard, but Amor is going to be level A and he's going to be nothing. <laughs> Alright, well here's the first Scarecrow. The crow doesn't want to talk to you. Perhaps if you are selling more... Charming. The fuck does that mean? Huh? Do we have like an accessory that makes this more charming? Is charm like a stat? I don't think it is. What does that mean? It's very mysterious. Well, whatever. I guess we're just not gonna do the bird quest right now. Let's see what else is in the maze. Maybe we can do the other birds. I mean, we've cleared out half the enemies on this never screen, so... Prologue. Oh, never. Why do you think it's called the Eternal Prologue of the Moon, babe? Did you think I wrote that as a joke? Of course not, we don't make jokes here. We don't make jokes. Isn't the sky beautiful? It's nice to know there are so many others out there who share the same view. Oh yeah, definitely. We definitely share the same view as this guy. Of oh. Course, of course. Oh. Plenty of funny friends abound. Well. Frankly, these guys are just a test to see if you've actually paid attention to the entire fucking, uh... 
pass system. Because it's real expensive to do that if you're using Kel's natural abilities. Yeah, pretty much. Like, we are still in tutorial zone, so that makes sense. Shoot. I know I left my donut somewhere around here. Is it here? Yeah. You want your donut? <laughs> Who would have guessed? Well, guess it's not happening. Not a side quest, so we're not allowed to help this person. It's always good to have some jokes on hand. If only you had a joke book to write them down in. Oh, Jesus what? Christ, how much is this game gonna give us? I don't... I don't know. Apparently we need to find a joke book. There's a tentacle. We are not leaving the screen, because then everything respawns, and that's... And the side quest is in this maze. Agony. Supple wing, if you would. <laughs> At least these things are easy experience. I mean, they don't give you that much, is the problem. I mean, yeah, but like... Yeah, but we take no damage and spend no resources. And like, 100 isn't terrible, terrible for this stage of the game. Considering how Pluto himself only gave us like 400. What the? Scarecrow Man! What do you mean, charming? What does that even mean? Do we have to become. What does mean? Is there like a way to switch who's in front in the party? Is there a way to make Aubrey talk to them? Ooh, no. Do we need the joke book? <laughs> you need to start doing the stand up to get these crows to love you. Obviously, babe, I don't... Uh, oh god, is the Scarecrow going to give us the joke book for doing this quest? <laughs> Alright. The door is locked. Well, we're done with the maze, that's everything in this maze, we're gone, we're out of here. Fuck you, Scarecrow man, your friends hate... Your friends are shallow and vapid and aren't worth bothering with. Rest in peace, Scarecrow Man. Rest in peace, Scarecrow Man. You're only friends with them because they're the only people who will be around you. <laughs> Am I being too mean to Scarecrow Man? Probably. Perhaps, but the side quest is very strange. It's very strange, and I don't much appreciate getting jerked around like this, because we cleared out that whole maze, and oh boy, this is just the other side- This is just the other way from the butt flag. I mean, at least we've discovered the whole area, and no one can take that away from us. We've done the whole map. We have enough bread to never die. <laughs> it only took us 4 hours and 47 minutes to get to this point. <laughs> you know what? World record pace. We have 469 clams. Nice. Oh my god, do we have to recycle these one at a time? <laughs> oh good, we can skip that. Oh thank god. Real quick, there's an option for this, I just didn't turn it on. Oh, change that to fast, holy hell. By holding confirm or cancel. Yeah, that's, that's much more convenient. Alright, this is... For five clams, this this machine sure does... What the fuck? Seer goggles? Hello? Is this like a reward for doing a ton of this? Uh, defense, luck, and hit rate. Holy shit, the hit rate. Yeah, that's pretty good. 300 hit rate, that's not nothing. 
Aubrey, quick! Your luck sucks! <laughs> Wait a second, does that mean I can do this? Yes! Aubrey can fist fight people now, because she's got the seer goggles on. Perfect. We're not going to do that. We'll have we... terrible questions. <laughs> like, we're absolutely going to see what, ha what it looks like if Aubrey's fist fighting people. Well, now we just got to recycle everything if we got... <laughs> I love how it's just like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, the machine's not yeah. worth it. And then it's like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, seer goggles, though. The game heard me complaining about this thing. This game is sentient and it hears everything you say. This game's got a fucking desire sensor like it's goddamn Monster Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> this game is powered by the cloud. <laughs> Every copy of this game is personalized. Every copy of this game contains this save of Amori, specifically. It's like, I don't know if that was a random poll or just like a guarantee after recycling X amount of items. I don't know, but it was funky. It was funky, and we're gonna keep it. Because now it means we can make these people fist fight the enemies. <laughs> if I feel like it, of course. Of course, of course. More likely, we're going to use it for weapons that have low hit rate but high power. Anyway. Time to fuck up the Earth. Here it, here it comes. We're going to give the Earth depression. Great. The Earth feels sad. It sure does. Alright. Man, the Earth sure does have a lot of defense. And a wear and a whack of damage, too. Now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not beating this one. <laughs> what do you mean? We're, obviously, we're gonna beat this one. Doubt. Like if it only does 30 damage, we're good. We have we can eat three shots from this right now. Or at least Amori can. Even Aubrey can fuck with this thing. The earth is cruel to Amori! Fine, fuck you too, buddy. I guess we'll just stab you. Oh, Aubrey is extremely upset. I mean, I'm curious what level 3 looks like. Oh, no, I guess it's... I guess it's specifically cancelling it out. Okay. Huh. And you thought this was going to be a tough fight. I mean, the fight's not over yet, is the thing. I think what's going on is that if anyone hits stage 2 angry, the Earth will just counter it by turning you sad. Please tell me I can make sliced bread out of the Earth. <laughs> really, your ultimate it's attack! A I mean, it did hit everyone for an amount of damage. Alright, I am actually going to hold back here. I want to make sliced bread out of the earth. <laughs> and there's only one way to do that. With apple juice. Like, this has got to be an achievement or something. I would hope so. I guess just using its ultimate attack, which really doesn't- Oh no, Kel went down! That's not good.
tell that their only way to make people pissy oh, is no. shit. <laughs> well, Ow, well. Rest in peace. Ah well, it's not like it's not like we're really in any danger here. Yes! <laughs> the earth is bread. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit, that means Kel doesn't get any of the experience. That is unfortunate. Oh, goodbye, world. Uh, yeah, that tracks. Axe first of t Okay, so both Hero and Aubrey have taunts. Hero's is probably be- Hero's is probably better because it gives him priority on moves. But Aubrey's is good for, like, damaging crowds. Though, to be I, fair, I don't- I guess that tracks. To be fair, I don't think Hero would actually manage to live more than, like, one hit to the face. He's kind of flimsy. He's doing his best. He's doing his best, but it sure ain't enough when he's getting punched in the face by the Earth. I love how the Earth's ultimate attack is a nuke, by the way. Well, All right. what else would it be? What even was this side quest? Ah, right, we need to look for Mr. Ducky's oh. son. He's probably in the junkyard. Can you believe it's been an hour and 16 minutes and we're only just now progressing the plot anymore? We're gonna be playing this game for decades. <laughs> yeah, babe, you have to realize I'm a bit of a completionist at heart. Gee, I couldn't tell. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's Pluto. <sighs> You've really done it now, dude. Kazoon tight. Thank you. I hope the captain won't be too mad when you tell him his favorite planet's missing. You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him captain anymore. You have to call him space boyfriend, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I guess Pluto just up and fucking left. Yeah. I mean, he was just hanging around on the surface. Ah! You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. Uh, thanks, dude. In your energy. You're always there when I need you. I love that they're not even trying to hide that Pluto's just fucking jacked. Listen, it's simply part of him. Let's not deal with the wormhole. The wormhole's annoying. Never mind, let's deal with the wormhole. Like, you made your decision. Has. Let's deal with the wormhole, because the wormhole dying. Oh no, it's a space bunny. Be on the wormhole. Focus old missiles on the wormhole. Turn this motherfucker into bread. I'm a very I'm a very big fan of the bread attack. It's stupid. And really easy Fine. to set up. We are going to have so much bread by the end of this. We are going We're to have... have supply. Oh shit, a backpack? Hero, you get the snacks. Oh, it's two entire defense. I mean, that's not nothing. Alright, well we don't need more... We definitely don't need more hit rate. 
Actually, what does Amori have right now? Oh, right, he's got the blanket. blanket, but I think extra defense is worth more than just than the 10 health. I want to say, I don't know what the equation is here. We'll give the blanket to Cal. Needs it after he lost Hector. Yeah. My good men, I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. Oh, good for uh, him. Hey, Rodrigo. Oh, welcome, Rodrigo. Oh, you've just missed an hour and 20 minutes of us <laughs> doing this stuff. Please tell me he... Okay, no, we finally got out of the way. Lovely weather, isn't it? <laughs> uh, notable God. achievements. We've killed Pluto and the Earth. <clears throat> We're really working our way through the solar system. <laughs> oh, we're doing good. How are you? Welcome to the first dungeon! Oh my... It's taken us this long to get here? <laughs> yeah! We ignored the dungeon to do literally everything else we could physically do here in... the playground, whatever it's called. <laughs> I mean, it was worth it. We got a bunch of... We got a bunch of fun stuff out of it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> We got some Moonwalk. We got a Gold Watch. <laughs> Most definitely, probably not really made of gold. We might- Maybe if we equip that, we'll be able to talk to the crows. Maybe. Probably not, but we could. Oh, good to hear you're doing good. <laughs> That's always useful. Also, we changed Kel's voice on request. So this is the junkyard, eh? Time to start digging. What are we looking for again? Beast Boyfriend special mixtape. Right-o. <laughs> hey, awesome. look, I found a can. You got a can. <sighs> I guess that's the start. <laughs> I hope one of your new roommates just comes into the room and sees you voice acting. No context, no nothing. God. We gotta get Absolute the- Absolute nightmare. <laughs> we gotta get that cassette tape. Kel was digging through trash. Kel didn't find- Oh, that's a fun mechanic. The sad one or the angry one for today, boys? God. <laughs> the designs here are so cute. They are. No, oh, I meant... I forgot to do it, but I was meaning to actually make Amori angry. Oh well. According to the has-been system... Oh, wow, yeah, this thing is next to no hell. According to the has-been I mean system, that... this thing is the next- this is the next best thing since sliced bread. God, I'm just- use- use the situation as marketing, Jesus. Of course. Well, anyway, I think we're good. I think we just... I think we should give... I think Aubrey should eat a Snickers. She obviously needs it. There's it. We have... Oh, that's so much experience! <laughs> They're just like a generic fight? That's so much experience. God, freaking air horn. Perfect. What, what else would you need? We have 12 bread, babe. We, we are never going to run out of bread. We're never going to run out of bread, because anytime we get close, a warrior will just make some more.
You. Kel is digging through trash. Kel finds a rubber band. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. Oh god. Mixtape or Doombox of the day. Awesome. Well, the mixtape isn't that dangerous. Either. So it's probably fine. Oh, we don't actually control who Amori attacks for the second one. Okay, I guess that's a way to nerf it. Yeah, they target randomly. Oh, now it's Angie. Well, we're not going to use that if it's that freaking expensive. Jeez. No, oh, yeah, that's the one. In fact, because we can, <laughs> that's what it meant. We needed Hero to get the charm skill before we could do it. Okay, I guess that tracks. Oh god, if Hero hadn't died to the shark, we would have been able to do the quest there. Ooh. Oof. <laughs> Suffering, especially. Now we have to go back and fight. Now we have to go back and fight everything again. One apple you choose can be turned into two bread. Aw oh, man, it looks like there's a big block of junk in the way. You might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Not to worry, everyone. This big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, Amori, you know you can get roots and track the coats? <laughs> well, you're not the only one with a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of the way. Kel and Hero have their own special abilities, too. Although, I'm not so sure about Kel. <laughs> Make me the leader by selecting Tag in the player menu or holding A. Hey. It's so small on my screen. I'll get rid of this hunk of junk easy peasy. Oh, nice. Anyway, oh, that's what that's for. Okay. I was wondering. I was wondering what the system is oh. about. All right, babe. Guess what time it is? It's time for this thing to show up. I don't know what it's doing here. Discord hates us. It hates us so much. Yeah, for some reason, their audio quality just dissolves after a bit. Just decides that I have no right. Ah. <laughs> uh. No? Nothing? That's a fun system. I do like that they all have their own overworld stuff. Cool. Once we exit the jump yard, we need to go tag the crows. I was wondering what A was for, considering how Q and W give you... You know, this and... Oh. Interesting. Whatever. Wait, I guess that means there's a unique picture for every different kind of pass-off in the tag system. Which is adorable. Alright, let's see if Kel can piss people off, actually. Fight! Nope. Babe. It's AOL. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we found it. It's dial up. <laughs> I 
But yeah, this is a more. The yeah, Rodrigo, this is a Mori. It's mildly incomprehensible, I feel. God. <laughs> Wait, dial up is slow. Kel hurts himself in frustration. Oh my god, that's fun. Let me just get a light jab in on that guy. That won't be a kill, but it'll get us in bread range. <laughs> that headbutt skill sure is paying for itself. It's pretty good. Yep. Chocolate. Oh, they're cute. Oh shit, we got the flower puzzle. Oh my god, we did need that for a side quest. Hey, Mr. Conveyor Bot. Switch up those conveyor belts for us already. Hmm. Rude person. You can't just get the order that people kill. Jeez, have some tact, will you? Now, now, there's no need to fuss. I'll handle this one. Tag me, Amori. Well, Aubrey's gonna tag you, hero. This is the tutorial zone. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ahem. Greetings, Sir Conveyabot. My companions and I require your assistance in change the directions of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please help us? Mm -hmm. Ah, hmm. Nice person. Okay. Okay, so... You know what? Hero does get the Pegasus voice, but only when he's doing whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> only when he's being charming. Only when he's being quote-unquote charming. Oh, wait, that's Cal. I forgot we made... I forgot Hero's the party leader right now. Man, we're running low on candy. I wonder what we'll use for our healing item next. We're gonna run out of healing. Child to your food, s'more s'mores please, a healthy stick of grain, or bread, a slice of life. Which is a bad pun. <laughs> I want to see all of these tags by the time we're actually done here. <laughs> Ooh. Um. You got. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, kids? You think you should put that one back? Sure, let's buy a tasty soda. Y'all want. Toilet ramen, babe. I, you know what? No, I don't think I do. Ah, coming in here was a fail. You was a fail state. I'm sorry. The what? Well, I mean. Oh, so that's what that button is here. To reverse it. Oh, okay. <laughs> a hammer made from meteors. What a lucky find. Like, I know we can reverse it, but still. Glasses Ghost looks around aimlessly as if lost. Oh yeah, didn't we see a ghost earlier? Oh cool, we don't need to use him every time. We That's did, good. we did. That's nice. <laughs> I mean, that's how he charms people. His horrible, horrible face. Would you want to deal with someone with whose face looks like that? <laughs> what is this? A fight, apparently. <laughs> is that the fucking... Is that the... <laughs> 
Life jam! <laughs> he just Kool-Aid manned his way out here. Hey kids, I'm the life jam guy. I sell life jam. It really works. Would you like a free demo? Sure. Oh, I see. He's going to fucking kill one of us. Oh my god. This is menacing. He's absolutely going to one-shot one of us, but we're gonna try and fight him. <laughs> this, this man wants your entrails. <laughs> <laughs> Amori did- It's a good thing Amori didn't die. Use Life Jam! It really works! You got Life Jam. Life Jam. <laughs> uh, sure, Mr. I mean... Life Jam guy, I'm not going to argue with you. I'll use Life Jam. <laughs> life Jam guy explains the benefits of Life Jam. <laughs> I guess we'll just Life Jam the rest. You gave us enough healing items. I think if we actually tried to hit him, we would die instantly. He's just a salesman. Enjoy your free samples. Mm -hmm. Goodbye now. I would have liked a free sample, but you know what? He wasn't wrong about it being a demo. <laughs> How did you like my free demo? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you loved it. Oh, I see you're still hurt. No worries, I'll heal ya. <laughs> He's just a silly little lad. <laughs> His music is amazing, though. Very good, the yes. music was too good for this gag. Now, would you like to buy some Life Jam? It'll only cost it. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't... I don't trust this thing. This guy's gotta be like a secret boss or something. <laughs> He's menacing. I guess this is in case he just never picked up any Life Jam before, but jeez. Consumably. Yeah, it's a cheap revival item. We've already the thing is we've already got like four of them, so it's not like a huge deal to it's not like a huge deal, and I'd like to save up my cash in case something fun comes along. Fair enough. We should have wait, we couldn't. This was No, we could have just used the guy at the bottom. I'm I'm very smart, babe. Listen. These are genius level strategies. All RNG manipulation. Obviously, babe, come on. Alright. Hey, Mari, are you, have you got a thing in here? Are you in the caves? A photo of someone familiar. Oh, I don't like that. Well, someone's definitely alive, we promise. The fact that it's apparently trash is something to be considered, too. Yeah... Alright. What did Kel get? Nothing. Nothing. This poor lad. I mean, at least we got a full heal out of Life Jam Guy. I'll have you know, Kel's an incredibly successful businessman. <laughs> he knows how to make people good at slicing bread. Incredibly talented. <laughs> A whole 69 damage. It's perfect. Nice. Yeah, at this point, Aubrey... At this point, it's probably better to give Aubrey the Angie. Because Aubrey now hits harder than Amori does until we can upgrade Amori's knife somehow. Wait, did Amori's speed go higher yeah, than... Yeah, she's so strong. 
Oh, right. Kel's speed got dropped by the attack. Never mind. I was confused for a second. What's run and gun? Ooh! Speed damage instead! Alright, well, Hero, I guess we're going to take the cotton ball away from you. Because his speed's way higher than his attack. You can have, uh, the bracelet. Sure. Right. We'll give our healer the blanket. You know what? He deserves it. But yeah, that means Kel can finally pull his weight around here. Because <laughs> Ramen Gun's gonna cost juice, but like that puts it. But with the speed boost, that puts him at the same level of power as Aubrey. Which means he. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. All that investment just to make him as good as Aubrey is. <laughs> Aubrey's just powerful like that. How much is running gun anyway? Oh god, 15, really? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, Dial-Up Man is, uh, good against this stuff. Tragic. Thankfully, Dial-Up Man is made of paper. He does his best. Well, time for the best things in sliced bread. More sliced bread. <laughs> Except that did kill, so you know. Unfortunate that. Ah well. It was a hope and it was the wrong one. I mean all we really lost was some athlete juice there. And hey, we got some lemonade. Like from the lemonade stand. Fun. Alright, so what's through this tunnel? <laughs> there she is! Mari. Ah yes, the perfectly Mari. roasted chicken. No. One of these days Mari is just gonna like poison you. Absolutely. Time for a picnic. Ah, this place is so gross and stinky. My nose can't take it anymore. What's the rush, Aubrey? There's so much treasure around. I'm gonna swipe as many cans as I can find. Oh, and then afterwards we should recycle them at a recycling machine. I'm sure he passed by one on the way to Captain Space- I mean Space Boyfriend's place. Ugh, oh, forget cans. We gotta find that special mixtape and get out of here. Uh, hang in there, Aubrey. You'll get past this. If anything, just think about all the good recycling we'll do for the environment. Yeah, come on, Aubrey, do it for the environment. Well, I guess Aubrey will do it for the environment. <laughs> I guess, I guess so. Can you believe five and a half hours in, we're still in the prologue? This is gonna be like a hundred hour game. Yeah, we are unfortunately not that confident at speedrunning. Why do you think our speedrun video died five times? Yeah, the party is actually getting pretty solid now. I Remember mean, yeah, we did do all that side quest. Remember when we were made of glass and dying to like random onions in the in the streets? Look how far we've come. No, nope, no, nope, we'll simply punch it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> We're going to have literally 99 bread by the end of this. It's like, why wouldn't we? Bread's the best healing item we have access to outside of, like, the best thing we can consistently get our hands on. I mean, it's really solid. I can't take that away from you. It's literally the best single target heal in the game right now. Over. Well, good on those guys. Can I run them over? No? Fine. <laughs> Uh, maybe Kingdom Hearts 2? I don't know how long that one is. Yeah, that one's like a couple hours. <laughs> ah, Bubble Wrap. Three defense! That's better than the backpack, that's for sure. And while the luck is good, I'd rather have some more consistent... I'd rather have Aubrey living longer since she's already going to be burning her health so much. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, what the... what gives? Heh, <laughs> well, what do you know? There's a weak point on its head. I can recognize one of those anywhere. Let's try throwing something at it. I'm sure that'll work. Oh, is that what these things are for? That platform there looks like a good place to throw from. Yeah, because there was one of these on the same screen as Kite Kid. Tag me, I got this. Uh -huh. Ah, so now we can go back and fight Kite Kid, but he's... <laughs> he's gotten ripped in half by Kel's strong arm. <laughs> but, but we beamed him on the head. <laughs> Kel, you just killed a man. Hell, you killed the child. <laughs> uh... Oh, right. I guess technically... I guess you could technically have a longer prologue in Hades if you're good enough to beat the whole game with no upgrades. I mean, some people have. Oh god, the shark plane's back. Oh, we got the poetry book. Easy. It is not the joke book, unfortunately. Not oh. the book we need, no. Here it is. Inflict sad on a friend or foe. That yeah, could be useful. Okay, I'll be right back. If any of my lines come up, just, just read them for me. Alright, that's fair. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're looking for the joke book. We need it. We need it because I think it's a key item. Seventy-three. Wow. Like I get that's two tiers of Angie, but still. Uh, oh, not a kill, shockingly enough. Yeah, like, the jumps the higher tiers do is ridiculous. Although there has got to be a way to, like, guard against certain things. Nah. There has to be a way to keep a consistent emotion past a certain point, cause, uh... Yeah, Mori just, like, rips stuff in half.
All right, well, anyway. There's a glass bottle. Now we actually have to explore the zone we just unlocked. Oh boy, dial up. Said literally no one in the history of ever. I think that attack is actually based on Cal's damage, which is underwhelming. God, Hero really just cannot hit anything. He's doing his best. <laughs> He's doing his best, sure. This little uh, is, is not meant for combat. Unfortunately, no. Although, to be fair, Dial-Up has a lot of defense, apparently. Oh boy, I wonder what Hackaway and Twirl are. Also, thank you for the welcome, Rodrigo. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. That's way better than stab for like generic stuff. Three random attacks. That just sounds like an abs. That just sounds like complete annihilation. Ooh, Aubrey can make herself happy by simply attacking. All right. No These one's... kids have good skills. They do. No one's gonna be able to live... No one's going to... No one's gonna be able to defend themselves ever in this universe. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Why did Crocodile Man move to the side? Who knows? Yeah, really. Is that... Set of cheese. <laughs> it's no good. I can't even dent this thing. <laughs> We've got to make it al dente. <laughs> hmm. Hold on a sec. This is cheese, isn't it? Whoa, you're right. It is cheese. Okay, guys. Hear me out. This might sound crazy, but... What if we ate the cheese? If we all start now, <laughs> we could probably finish this in a couple of hours or so. Just a warning though, cheese gets me kind of gassy. Hell no! You, Kel! Uh, hold up, Kel. There's no need for that. I think I may have the perfect solution. Tag me, Mori. I know just how to handle this. What the? What, are you gonna sweet talk the cheese away? Hello, friends! It's me, Imz, the humble, hungry hamster. Oh wow, is this all for me? What a treat! How'd you know that cheese is my favorite? I don't have to guess, Imz. Everything is your favorite. Everyone, this is Emily the hamster, but I just call her Imz. She's a good friend of mine. You know what to do, Imz. I sure do. Be done in a jiffy. <laughs> Whoa. How oh, does all that even fit in her body? Beats me. I try not to think about it. That was incredibly satisfying. If you're ever in need of any giant cheese eating services again, you can know who to call. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. What is this universe? <laughs> it's Dreamland, babe. Even so. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was... Well, it was. was something else. <sighs> How are we supposed to... 
supposed to find anything in here? There's just way too much junk. Wait, were we looking for something? Oh, please tell me Kel had it on him the whole time. I hope so. Oh no, is this sweetheart? Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, I cannot do whatever this voice is. At long last- Channel your inner anime character. <laughs> At long last, I finally found it! After countless hours of digging and digging, this one-of-a-kind, ultra-exclusive special mixtape finally belongs to me! Rosa! The number one sweetheart fan in the world! With this one-of-a-kind addition to my collection, I'll finally surpass all those lame posers out there. Wait... Oh no... This special mixtape... It smells like doo-doo. Oh no! I smell like doo-doo! Hold on... Did she say she found a special mixtape? That's what we've been looking for! Oh yeah... Let's go get it. I can hear everything you're saying, you know. Just as I suspected, only something so valuable is already getting me into trouble. What's the matter? Are you jealous? The special mixtape is mine! I'll never give it to you. Not now, not ever! Hey, we didn't come all this way out here for nothing. If you don't give us that special mixtape, we'll have to take it by force. <gasps> Such savage behavior! Violence never solved anything, you know. Hmm. I'm much too refined for this nonsense. Farewell, peons, and see you never. Wait, come back here. <laughs> Hurry, Amori. After her. We can't let her get away. What is this plot? <laughs> this is Dream World, babe. I know it's Dream World, but oh my god. <laughs> You'll never catch me, stick legs. That's Uh, feels mildly racist. Anyway, moving on. 19 bread! We're never gonna run out of bread. Never. It's the miracle of life. It's the miracle of Amori. Can. Can. Rain cloud. Sure. Robin. Incredible violence. Oh, she can do that, oh. apparently. <laughs> She's talented like that. It's unfortunate she must pay for her crimes. Sorry for being a sweetheart fan. Some crimes can never be forgiven. <laughs> What's that? Two defense, five heart. That's not terrible. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know why a TV remote specifically does that, but sure. It's the knowledge that you can- <laughs> Good try, buddy. <laughs> You're not stopping Aubrey. Hey, Mari, real quick. You're too powerful. Man, those apple juices were wasted. Yeah, well, you couldn't have known. I see you're keeping yourselves busy. I hope you're all having a fun adventure. If you're ever feeling weary, don't forget you can always rest up at my picnics. Big sister is always prepared. Sure. Hey, computer part. Five hours and 40 minutes into this universe, we have found... <laughs> we have found someone <laughs> wild. Be facing the actual boss. Oh, hey, there's the boss line. Oh, it's the 404. Rosa, we finally <laughs> caught you. Now give us back that special mixtape. What's with her? Hey, Rosa, can you hear us? Huh? Oh, I wonder why she isn't responding. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming because she's leading us into a trap. I mean, we just saved and healed, so we're good. It's a download window. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> We need to put Amori into a Myla Moo range. <laughs> Download window is at 99%. How much? Oh, well, this is going to go. Don't worry, it'll be at 99% for the next two days and or two minutes. Probably not lemonade. We could do tasty sodas, and those would give a better effect, I think, than apple juice. It's only barely better. Let's just use this. <laughs> There's a reason I have hack away instead of stab. Pretty good. Download window is still at 99%. Well, you know what? I think we're definitely gonna kill it by the time this window's done. Considering we oh, just entered yeah. a Lyle Moo range. Fairly certain. Yeah, there it goes. 404 experience, 42 clams, Kel finally hit level 10 and learned Curveball. And Hero can smile. Congratulations. I don't think so. I believe it only goes up to tier 3, but, like, at that point, if you're go- Yeah. I don't think there's a tier 4, and I think having a tier 4 would be a mistake, since getting- Since any status move can erase the other emotions entirely. What just happened? Who cares? We gotta take back that special mixtape. You took the special mixtape from Rosa. Huh? What in the world? Hey, that's mine! Give it back! No way, it's Finder's Keepers. We're putting this back in Space Boyfriend's boombox where it belongs. Hmm. Space... Boyfriend. You say? Oh, you ignorant child! Haven't you heard the latest news? I have a very reputable source who tells me that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart have long since parted ways. Why do you think this special mixtape is in the junkyard in the first place? It's because Space Boyfriend threw it away himself. Space Boyfriend threw away the special mixtape himself? Uh oh. That's not good. But if Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart aren't together anymore, how will we ever wake up Space Boyfriend now? The future of the once great coalition of space pirates is depending on us. Hmm. That sounds like your problem, not mine. Wait just a second. How do we know you're not lying about all this? You could just be trying to get the special mixtape back. Well, I... never. I may be rude and pretentious, but I'm not a liar. Like we'd trust you. I think we'll just keep the special mixtape and see for ourselves. Now scram, you ugly plant creature. Go bother <laughs> someone else. Oh my. So rude. You'll pay for this, you stupid boy. Mark my words. I wonder if we'll ever bring back the majesty that is Dei Jump Keith and Eiji. <laughs> I don't know, that was a good bit that has been lost to time. Well. Punch it out of the way. <laughs> I don't think we can punch it, babe. Tragic. All right. Do you want to? We want to cap off Space Boyfriend's wacky fun adventure, or do you want to save and leave that for Thursday? Oh, let's do Space Boyfriend's wacky fun adventure. I'm invested. Hold it right there. We finally found you, Pluto. There's no escape. Oh, there he is. Oh no. My gigantic well-defined arms and legs are giving out. I can't let it in like this. I need to find a hiding place. 
Hey, you there. Please, lend me your assistance. Huh? Uh, uh, well, er, uh, hurry. I don't have much time. You need a place to hide, huh? Aha, I got it. You can rest easy now. I got this all under control. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that should do it. Shoot, they're coming. Quick, everyone, act natural. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dang it, we lost them. Hey, you kids, we're looking for a high-profile and very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's a big, circular, grayish guy with huge, bulgy muscles. Kind of hard to miss. Have you seen him? Uh... Um... No, can't say we have. Really? Well, that's life. Come on, dude, let's keep searching. We'll find him eventually. Okay, sir, the coast is clear. Ha ha ha! Such quick thinking. I'm impressed. You have my eternal gratitude. What are your names, if I may ask? I'm Hiro, and these are my friends Aubrey, Kel, and Amori. I see. Fine names for fine young people. My name is Pluto, and I am a rogue planet. A vagabond, if you will. I do apologize for causing everyone so much trouble, but... I feel that it is not my purpose to act as a mere yard decoration. I want the freedom to roam the sky as I please, like the birds and the stars. If that makes me a rogue planet, then so be it. They can call me what they please, so long as I'm free to do as I please. My soul yearns for freedom! You understand, don't you, children? Mm. Well, Kel, are you crying? It was too beautiful for words. Such raw emotion. I'm touched. That was beautiful, Pluto. <laughs> you said it, Kel. Wait, you too, Aubrey? Now, at long last. I am finally free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own transportation company. This is the fast travel guy! Oh. I'm going to call it Pluto's Space Line. Yeah, because we need to go back down to give her the flower puzzle. This realization has reinvigorated me. And since you have helped me in such a selfless way, I must return the favor. Mm -hmm. I am Pluto, Pluto's Space Line now. Please pretend you have just arrived at a transportation station. Uh, okay. Uh, hello? Pluto? <laughs> Greetings from Pluto Space Line! Where would you like to go today, young travelers? Got. Oh, was that too much? Hmm. I should try to tone it down. Let's try this again. <laughs> No, it's okay. We'd just like to go back to the campsite, please. So, you want to go to the Otherworld campsite? Ah, oh, my first request. How exciting. Oh no. Here it comes. Oh my god. <laughs> One ride to Otherworld campsite coming right up. I won't let you down, young travelers. Leave the rest to me. Is everyone oh strapped God. in? <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm not ready yet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Pluto's Space Line. Where will your journey take you today? This so you want... is a way to do fast travel. <laughs> so you want to go to other world? This is this is a game. You got it. <laughs> now, just sit back, relax, 
and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Cal is dying. <laughs> this isn't about Cal. <laughs> How was that for a smooth ride? Comfortable environments and relaxing music. I'd give it 5 out of 5 stars. Says you. <laughs> I can't even feel my arms anymore. Cal, I have to say, you did a great job holding on for dear life back there. You have the potential to be very strong. Let me teach you a skill that might be useful in the future. Ahem. Repeat after me. When I flex, I <laughs> right. I feel my best. Now you try. <laughs> when I flex, I feel my best. Well, that felt amazing. I'm pumped. Hmm. I think this might be the first, like, straight buff skill we have outside of the emotion system. It could use a little work. Maybe. But nevertheless, you've definitely got the power within you. Take this lesson and use it well. Farewell, children. Until next time. <laughs> Kel learned flex. God, this game is so much. <laughs> And the thing, we could have just skipped all of this by stabbing. <laughs> oh, so it just buffs him up for the next turn. We got Curveball. Makes a foe deal a random emotion. Oh, that's... a system. I guess. That's... That's your gambling. It could do something, I suppose. Sure, I guess it'll be useful if they have an emotion I don't like, just to purge it. So, you still want to go see Space Boyfriend? Let's go see him. He's the Thai Jasper. <laughs> hey, Jasper. <laughs> I feel like you just missed the best part. Oh, that's cute. It actually shows you who's in the lead on the save file. That's fun. Let's buy some more apple juice, by the way. We kind of burned through all our supplies. Oh, yeah, Life necessary. Jam... Necessary. Oh, that's fun. Life Jam guy was actually cheaper. Oh, we should have been using rubber bands. Reduces Ooh. defense. That would have been uh, lethal. Oh, right. This guy doesn't sell... Okay, this guy only sells sodas. Eh. We'll buy, like, three of these, because that's an AoE. I guess we'll just... Yeah, I guess we'll go pick up some more things once we get back down to the planet. Although, to be... F yeah. Oh, right. We also have the recycling... You know what? I actually have some off-screen stuff I need to do, because we got the recycling machine, and I definitely didn't do the entire junkyard. But yeah, I think this is the last thing we're gonna do. Not because of time, although that is a thing, but mostly because I think Pluto actually killed me. <laughs> well, I'll be. You kids really did it. It's a little dirty, but that's our missing special mixtape for sure. Thanks a lot, my guy. With this, we'll finally be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. Kel reached into your pocket and took out the special mixtape. Do not break it. about that we might have some bad news we heard a rumor that space boyfriend and sweetheart well that they broke up what did they really uh okay whatever's going on in chat let's ignore it Oh, they're, no. They're sorting themselves out. But that would mean... ...that there's no point in playing him the special mixtape anymore. All hope is lost. Oh, right, I'm voicing him. Hey, Space Boyfriend, you we got your special mixtape back! Heh, 
You can at least thank us. Oh, don't be so down, Space Pirate Guy. It's just a rumor. And even if it's true, it's not the end of the world. People get over breakups all the time. I'm sure Space Boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. He just needs some time to readjust. Oh, I know. I'll blast the special mixtape on his music box. He's gotta wake up to that. In that case, we should probably get rid of that special mixtape after all. Listening to the songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it here, Amori. I'll keep it safe. Hero reaching. What are what are Amori's pants? The fucking supermarket. Yes. Huh? Where is it? Kel, what are you doing? No! Right off the, right off the box. <laughs> Agony. Wakey, wakey, space boyfriend. Uh oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. I had a feeling it would be a boss fight if this happened. <laughs> what is that? Infernal racket! <laughs> oh, look what you did! <laughs> Fear me, for I have awakened. Hmm. One second. Why do all these fuckers know instant transmission? They're talented like that. Hmm. He flipped it over to the B side. <laughs> He's playing the Celeste B sides right now. Much better. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Frankly, if I could teleport, I would also use it for dumb stuff like this. Noah Ballad. Foolish children. I must thank you for bringing me out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed, pretending to be sick. Like I always say, feelings are for losers. Well, buddy, you're about to lose the biggest deal of all. <laughs> that wench, sweetheart. She's going to pay for leaving me. I did everything for her. I gave everything to her. Everything, you hear me? That ungrateful little... Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Out of your bed! Dude! Just forget it! Forget everything! I'm going to find Sweetheart, and I'm going to make her pay! Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend. Or should I say... Boyfriend. <laughs> Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? I am Captain of the Space Pirates! I control all the planets in the solar system, and have the ability to fly through space at will. The power of the entire universe is at my command. Blah blah blah, talk all you want, we're not scared of you. If you plan on going around and causing trouble, you're going to have to get through us first. Hmm. So that's how it's going to be. If you still insist on stopping me, I'm afraid we'll just have to settle this the hard way. I'll take all of you on! Fight me, earthly scum! <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy! Feelings are for losers, huh? <laughs> we have to check this dude's log in the in the enemy encyclopedia after this. I'm just so fascinated by whatever the hell is happening. Right. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to use tasty sodas. 
Ah oh, well, there's plenty of vending machines around. They're just expensive as hell. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to understand jack shit when they're playing this game. I, I've been paying attention the entire time and I have no idea what's going on. Oh my, will move, fucker. My rage cannot be contained. You cannot placate me! Space ex-boyfriend became angry. Space ex-boyfriend can no longer become happy or sad. Well, buddy, you suck anyway. Nah, this will be fine. Yeah, this will be fine. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> how are you still moving? I... I won't let you defeat me. Space ex-boyfriend became enraged. <laughs> well, we definitely need to get out of this. Holy shit. We need to make this man do less damage at any cost. We can inflict happy or sad on him. Oh. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I guess this air horn's coming to good use then. Yeah, we don't have anything to inflict Pappy, so I guess we will simply... I guess we will simply feed the beast. The beast that is Amori. Ah, okay, so those only work for first stage. You have to use the skills if you want to get higher than that. I guess that tracks. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alright, well, this is what I bought the AoEs for. Banana smoothie time! Yeah, if there's any time to use it, that time is now. Out of my way, Earthly scum! This is your last chance! Space X boyfriend Ooh. became furious. He's not having a good time. Well, in that case, buddy, I guess you won't mind if we take a little vengeance on ya. <laughs> uh. Now, I think it might scale better if we push Aubrey up. Oh, no! Can only Amori become furious? Ooh, that's interesting. Either way, uh, either way, Aubrey just got taken the fuck out. Rest in peace. Uh, why is it that we always kill them on the round someone goes out? Ah. It's unfortunate. My heart. It hurts. Ah. Well, you know what? She was the highest. That's unfortunate, but whatever. She was pretty high up anyway. See you, Space Boyfriend. That's the achievement. Great. Okay, yeah. So I guess only Amori can go up to the tier threes.
Yeah, yeah, no, I think... Nah, it does stuff sequentially, so I do think that if... Right, because I think I used Annoy on her the last turn, too, but I wasn't paying attention and forgot I did that. Because she was definitely supposed to hit Furious the round before she died. Huh? What Aww. happened? W where am I? Who are you? Hey there, how are you feeling? Oh, hello. I'm Captain Spaceboy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, my chest. Oh no, are you okay? You got a little angry earlier, so we had to... Ah, uh, I see. My other half must have gotten the better of me. I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I just hope I didn't cause you all too much trouble. I've been having a hard time controlling my emotions lately. I'm trying my best to keep them at bay, but it's becoming much more difficult. Sweetheart, she was the love of my life. It's almost impossible for me to imagine life apart from her. I guess I'm a bit lost. This special mixtape is full of mine and Sweetheart's favorite songs. I put so much love into making this for her. Thank you all for returning it to me. This is still full of precious memories, after all. Eh, it's no problem. Well, not too much, anyway. Yeah, we're glad to help. You just go ahead and get some rest. I'm afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. I must find another way to get over this. Captain Sp I mean, Space Boyfriend. I'm so, so, so sorry, but I have very, very terrible news. Your favorite planet, Pluto, has escaped, and we can't find him anywhere. Don't be mad at us, we're sorry. But please be gentle. Oh. <laughs> ah, I see. It's okay, you two. I'm sure even the planets get bored turning slowly all day. Perhaps Pluto was never meant to be a planet. Huh? Really? So you're not angry at us? Do you mean a Captain Sp- I mean Space Boyfriend? I sure do. Gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones. Resting in bed may not fix a broken heart, but eating snow cones with friends might help. Also, you don't have to call me Space Boyfriend anymore. I'm Captain Space Boy. Wait, does this mean... Woo! Who? The captain is back! I can't wait to tell everyone! Let's go, dude! Right behind you, buddy! I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would have happened to me and my crew if y'all didn't show up. Oh, it was nothing. We're just glad you're feeling like yourself again. You have my thanks. If you ever need anything from me or the Space Pirates, please don't hesitate to ask. Actually, I can't believe I forgot about this, but we're actually looking for a friend, Basil. He wears a flower crown and always carries his photo album on him. Have you seen him around? No, I'm afraid I haven't. But if I do see anything, you'll be the first to know. Welcome back, Rodrigo. Yeah, hey, welcome so. back. Where could he have gone? <laughs> Sniff boy. <laughs> Sniff noises. Ah, please don't cry, little lady. Here, take this. You got a snow cone ticket! Hell yeah, those things are expensive. Uh-oh. Please, little lady, don't cry. Er, here, take this too. <sighs> you got a train pass. Awesome. I used it to travel around on trains when I was a child, long before I became a space captain. If even I can go from traveling on trains to flying my own spaceship, I'm sure you'll be able to find your friend. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, Captain, you ready to go? Everyone's waiting for you. Ah, yes. Hold on. I'm coming. You must keep your hopes up, little lady. If it gets too hard to bear, try eating a snow cone. It might make things a little easier. I mustn't keep my crew waiting. Good luck with everything, and thanks again. Yeah, those snow cones are going to be fucking ridiculous. Oh, shit, we got the key. <laughs> your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. Hell yeah. That's and look, fun. We even got, e. we even got the E key. E. <laughs> but yeah, so now we can go back to Pinwheel Forest and see what's behind the lemonade stand. There's also blood in here. Oh yeah, I guess so. Uh... Fuck, I still don't know what that's saying. Um... I think... I think the ending is a, a black space? Like, yeah, that sounds... Right. But I, I have no something, idea what the first word could be. Something in black space. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Ah, well. Well, we got these nice bloody footprints to follow now. Wonderful. Manifest blood. I guess these are just telling us to go do your shit already. Hello everyone, how's the search for Basil going? Well, Mari, it seems that we've taken a little detour. Just trying to help those in need, you know? Look, Mari, I got a snow cone ticket! Well, that's very nice, Aubrey. Thanks. Mari, look what I can do. That's very nice too, Kel. I know, isn't it? It's so strange. We've searched all over the place, but we haven't seen a hint of Basil anywhere. Oh, Basil. I wonder where he could have gone. There must be something we're missing. Do you have any leads, Amori? Yeah, we do have the train ticket, and that's pretty much what we've got. You know what's fucked up? What? You know it's so mean and rude of the game? We're still in the prologue. How'd you guess, babe? <laughs> We're gonna be playing this game for so long. <laughs> no, the prologue is actually like 80% of the game itself. God. I wouldn't put it past the game. You think if we use the stab option, we would just go to the next chapter? Probably. Uh, well, you know what, everyone? We've... We kind of passed the two-hour mark 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I was having fun. I mean, if you're good, we can still keep going, but I do think this is a decent enough cutoff point. It is. I am getting a little tired. All right, everyone. Well, come back on Thursday to see if we'll ever reach the thrilling conclusion of the prologue. Wahoo! But hey, babe, the title was right. It is the eternal prologue of the moon. This is gonna be, need to be a game that we've really got a shotgun over breaks. <laughs> oh, absolutely. This is gonna be the kind of game we're gonna need, like, three cooldown games for. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been fun having everyone in here. Yeah, this is a fun time. Yeah, I probably haven't been responding as often as I normally do, but that's because this game is so much. It's, it's the most game of all time. Oh well, everyone. I hope you all had a good time. I hope you have a good day. And this is goodbye. Bye.